So, Call of Duty Vanguard is the title of this year's Call of Duty. So, i seen the teaser trailer. That's what's playing right now. And it's honestly, it's not bad. Just like a post-World War II era that they're going with, you know. I wasn't, like, I think um, World War II was, I think the campaign was good. Multiplayer and zombie wasn't just, like, there for me. I think that's what good I would just say about World War II. It's just, like, it was a good campaign. Bring back some good weapons and whatever because they're in that era and everything so yeah you know it was kind of cliche ish it was just you know it's world war ii like it just went with like somewhat of a cliche story but i find like ghost and then uh, infinite warfare to be one of my favorite campaigns but you know people had different opinions so yeah uh this is being taken in post world war ii and we're going to be playing as four different soldiers that are taking in like different locations and like the north or not north the east and the western front and the pacific and then north africa as well and this is just i think i don't know they purposely attended to potentially did this but they set up like a uh, like a task force vanguard like 41141 like vanguard i don't know if it's gonna strike like a similar um a replica like um call of duty modern warfare you know one two and three with task force one for one i don't know if it's like vanguard one for one or just task force vanguard it's gonna be something like similar like that or completely different you know i don't know if it's going to like like be in like one big call of duty like story just how cold war and modern warfare 2019 is and everything but uh yeah it actually looks pretty promising and we're going to be taking upon these four different soldiers when i heard about this the first time i thought it was going to be like how battlefield is with different perspectives of the war but i know it's going to be taking the same war in four different locations with this task force vanguard and the reveal is going to be on warzone on 10 30 p.m. Um, specific time, which is 1.30, or yeah, 10.30 Pacific PT, which would be 1.30 in Eastern time. You just come, just convert it to your time. But it kind of sucks because I'm going to be in school on that day, so I don't know if it's going to be like the Cold War reveal or like any other event that it's going to be repeated. Like, you can jump into the event as many times if you have not entered. So hopefully, you know, they do that, like, like when I go home and stream on Warzone with the reveal event, like I don't want to be spoiled. Like I want to go in there, like just fresh as everybody else and everything. But yeah, hopefully that happens. Like it could just, you know, you know multiple people can do it if they miss the initial like time. They can just, you know, go in a little bit later. Hopefully it's that because if I missed out, that would be that would suck. Like I want to experience it firsthand before watching a YouTube video out of it. But yeah, I'm actually excited that it's coming this thursday can't wait to see you know the promising stuff but it's just like you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like i don't know if this game is gonna even gonna swim me because i'm still waiting for the beta for um for battlefield 2042 and i feel more confident in that game than this one to you know be the dominant um multiplayer first person shooter of this year but hey vanguard can change my mind but you know, I still have more confidence in uh, Battlefield. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys are ready for it this Thursday. If not, that's A-OK -okay with me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Senegal Suit through 9 I don't hope you all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. And I'm going to see you all, lovely ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. See ya.